ahead of time is what Anastasia Bluebeyond Guide shares and has been sharing for some time to feel confident energetically enough to state and share that what is being shared here is ahead of time, linear time, as it comes through firstly to the planet. For those of you who also feel ahead of time, when, we, because we don't compare ourselves to anyone, however, we can't, we can only compare off others' energies to find our own places in life, can't we? So, with many around us, quite often, we will get something firstly and then others will get things. And so much love to all our forebearers and all those before us that were getting things um, ahead of time. So, listen, welcome and thank you for joining. This is a ahead of time Grand Master Divine Healing live and as you join here this energy goes to humanity in the collective this is a lead up to the 5th of april event part one part two is on may the third this energy is a lead up to that event which is our australian easter sunday and four weeks later, on the Orthodox Easter Sunday energies, I'll be doing another live. So today is a lead up for that. It'll be about twin energies, double resurrection energies, new, new to the planet, creating through ourselves firstly. These are new earth energies consciously to the planet firstly. It's very important to talk table and share i was not able to settle my energy until i came on i had 30 minutes notice that i would be coming on uh the days i don't have somebody um, booked in for one-on-one -on -one, i know there will be something specifically that will happen and today is here with you all so thank you as i say kalimera and yasu from australia a first generation um aussie greek or greek aussie First female, as far as I know, to join the Royal Australian Air Force. First Greek female in Australia in um, 9th of January 1986. It's my 30th anniversary, so to speak, of when I was assaulted in the military 30 years ago. Um, came three days ago for me, 30 years ago. And what am I seeing now in the news with females? one that suicided recently and her story of what happened to her was what along the lines of 30 years ago so a lot has not changed okay however as a trailblazer with my own post-traumatic stress major depression case that i i had to be the solicitor so this is complex post-traumatic stress divine healing coming through right now Okay, so the vision is violet with black flecks in it releasing. Okay, violet energy cleansing. Straight into it today. Thank you for being here. This is for those masters who have a high vibration, the field of calling to super master energies, to grand master energies. Okay. I have lots of bits and pieces to share with you. I'm really excited. Uh, however, this pre-healing, pre-clearing before I do that um, needs to be shifted. So let's see what else is coming through. It was bizarre energies last night. Now for me to say bizarre and then to come on with a live and to say that these were bizarre energies after 26 years for myself consciously awakening, dealing with bizarre dreams and bizarre and I often say um, weird and, and what's sci-fi and what's not um, common for everybody else. That that was That's my everyday life and, and now more and more people <coughs> excuse me clearing 
<coughs> there we go. There it is. The big message today with what I'm about to read through to you all is about I live and practice what I preach and what I share. And for me to, in my role and mission, you have, don't ask at the moment, please stay with me. Um, when I share, I say my role and mission with humanity, I am a mirror of a mirror of the divine for you. But at the moment, I just want you to focus on yourself and your humanness, okay? Because remember that you chose to have a human experience. I know people know these words, but we need to go over some things. We need to go over a lot of things because we know and then to experience and to feel is a whole other different world. So take a breath. Did you feel that release, that energy? What is happening is currently our nervous system is going through a rewiring. That's the first golden nugget. So sit with that for a minute. Feel into it. Feel how your breath, your breathing shallow or that inside you're a bit like this and you didn't realize. So just acknowledge consciously those words. I have already written so many words and delivered some flash updates. I think it's three in the past seven days or 10 days. So what does that mean? There's a lot going on energetically. That the energy information that is shared through here comes ahead of time. And more and more, just as I needed to learn and grow into this, of you are learning that when it's shared by Anastasia Blue Beyond God, sit with it don't sit there oh wait for it when is it going to happen to me no 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 consciously just take in and carry on with your life and then when something happens then you can recollect oh, this is what was written in the update this is what that video was about and even then it's layer after layer after go up the spiral of ascension these are ninth dimensional energies as you're coming into fifth and sixth and whatever it is for you these are ninth dimensional energies so slow down you will be, I don't like the word forced because it's not a good work energetically. However, there is times where we will either come to an abrupt stop, a stop, we will come to what I say, we'll hit a brick wall, um, where we will be forced and it's not being forced. However, it's being forced away from something more detrimental for ourselves if we do not slow down, stop, monitor, consciously breathe okay i understand that not everybody's roles and missions is to do what we do okay not everybody however ultimately we are the deepest of the deep we are of the below the iceberg transmuters for the collective and humanity and with that in our humanness people get very lost sacred greetings back to you eleanor hello casey vincent Southwest UK, Mwah. sending love and blessings there. If you put your country, I will just continue to just flow that energy to that particular country even more so. So please share where you're from, okay? You make a difference. You matter. Your energy goes from you to your family, your home, your suburb, your street or wherever you are, the bush, your caravan, wherever. It doesn't matter. It you are making a difference. I just want to gently re-remind you so you can regroup and reground. What I've shared in the last, I'm going to be sharing from the third. It is now, I have to check the date, 12th of March. From the third to the 12th, everything that was shared is now, this is about double zero to zero one new creating energies. We've had a new breakthrough today. We had a dark attack that was defeated and head off, but different to other times, okay? This was new and different. The bizarre dreams were new and different. Everything is jumbled. This was written ahead of time one or two days ago. Energies are jumbled. And souls are saying to me today, I can't focus on anything. I'm trying to focus on everything's jumbled. That's right. The energies are jumbled. Slow down. There you go. There's a breath. And see the water sprinkler from yourself, just a simple, pure water sprinkler. And see little bits of old flecks of dirt and grime flowing out as the water becomes purer and purer. 
up through your crown chakra and out. Just picture yourself as a water fountain. There we go. There it goes. Clear the water. Clear the water. It doesn't take long. You can do all of this instantly. The visualizations live with me here now. I'm slowing down to take the time showing, leading by example, Spirit says. Thank you, birdies. I need to continue, continually pump out the Ascension updates for the latest energies for the planet because I'm unable to slow them down. Again, this is a mirror of a mirror for you. I have different vibrational videos I do. There will be a flash update for 10, 15, 20, 40 minutes. There will be all different ones. Today, I'm shifting today to another rung as well. Morning, Marty. Hi, Kenneth. Natalie. Maddie, Tarika, Candice, Kalimera Nitsa, <laughs> Yasu, Bizarre it has been. Don't try and figure it out. However, I will give you some hints. Are you ready? This is multi dimensional. <gasps> ah, no wonder I can't figure it out because I'm a multifaceted, multi dimensional human being linked with my higher self and spirit okay this is the bigger picture and me my little mortal human being my little brain your beautiful huge brain was trying to figure out what was going on no way were you able are you able to because it's not one thing and if you are used to using the logic and the brain in the head this is where the brick walls are happening this is where a lot and my dear Virgos, I mentioned this in lightheartedness with my beautiful Virgos and other star signs as well, okay? Uh, those characteristics, the characteristics. We're not defined by the horoscopes and everything. We, we transcend those, okay? However, when we chose to be born under those alignments of the planets and stars and at that time does have an influence on us. On us. It's not the be all and the end all, okay? So shifting from the mind from the thinking and getting out of the head and that negative ego is prime and paramount. I'm not the first one to say this. This is not you. I'm just voicing and delivering this and coming through in a new way of a soldier. Yes, sir. No, sir. Three bags fucking full, sir. How about a cup of get fuck, sir? When I was abused and I went to the legal office and he re-abused me and tore strips out of me and said, sir, you can't handle that. and being taken outside on a weekly daily basis and being blasted and abused by the abuser kept in the same section because your female boss didn't believe you that he assaulted you and ridiculed and ridiculed i found my story when i wrote when i was 40 i'm 55 i'd forgotten so listen this is complex ptsd coming up as well and trauma this is you clearing for generations as well take a breath and allow yourself a golden fucking moment to breathe from your higher heart release and breathe and breathe hello ali from england outer banks usa tatiana can you feel that coming to you golden energy right now i wish we could meet up live in person so I can flick these energies. I can still do it here with you now. Thank you for being here too. To Chicago, we're going to Vermont, USA. We're going to Paris, France. My dear people in the States, I don't understand your abbreviations, NC, NW. I, I don't know those. So I will just put what you hear. My beautiful brother B, thank you. My beautiful Bob, my beautiful B for holding the light for France. Each one of you, you blue rays, you indigos, <coughs> you're holding the energy space for bigger than you. You know this. I want you to bring back to the conscious knowing this is bigger than you. However, it's not bigger than you. Boom. Peace and blessings. Candace from North Carolina, USA. Ireland, my beautiful Irish sisters and brethren. Very strong links to Ireland, flew to Ireland, put one foot in the ground and went, oh, I'm home. So, you know, um, 
Hello, my beautiful Tanya Phoenix, the beautiful, amazing energy work that you're doing as well. Daniel from Yamba, thank you, brother. You're clearing so much and of the indigenous energies of first to the planet. I was an original as well, Daniel. We've been reincarnated. I don't say this often in respect to the indigenous of Australia. However, we have a role and a mission. We're transmitting the grief and the sorrow. They're so caught up in the anger and the grief and the sorrow. So thank you, Brother Daniel. New gold codes coming through to you. My beautiful divine twin flame, David Karen Nikita, doing and transmuting the dark of the dark shadow where he is overseas in England with Lou Mary, his partner. How can you be divine twin flame and he's got a partner? Hello, we're here for the planet and humanity. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Michelle, Perth, Rachel, my beautiful Perth brethren. I haven't been to Perth yet. Haven't been to Perth. It's like another country. You know, beautiful Rachel Hogan. Hello, Marissa. Oh, Tarika. <laughs> Sun our beautiful Sunshine Coast, Jersey, Patricia, Tim, Maddie, Massachusetts, USA, all the work you're doing there. Shelby, Kentucky, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for shining the light. Perth again, Michelle. Thank you, <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> Kathy Johnson wrote, "Take a breath and lay yourself a fucking golden moment." She put it in quotes. Thank you. <laughs> and that's what I've had people say is, all I did was watch one video and you were talking directly to me. And another one said, when I said, "Put it in the bucket bucket," she went, "You're speaking my words." So more of us or you are coming out and coming together. And you know what it's taken? The raw and realness, because I am speaking to you right now. Your beautiful I am divine golden energy, because I am you, you are me. We are a mirror of each other. So if I put down and criticize and judge others, Reflect that for myself. What am I doing? Where am I placing my energy? Is it on the Megan and, and, and the royal issues at the moment? Yes, sure. Observe what's going on. Don't give it any more energy. I know you know this, okay? However, some masters need to be re-reminded. And I'm not being sarcastic, smart ass, but I really am in a way, I suppose. But <laughs> because on a daily basis, I see what's below the iceberg with everybody of the hidden bits. Thank you for being you, I love you. And I see through all of you with your energies because I've been trusted by the divine to be able to be given two souls, spirit and soul, and I'm able to see double. And it's helping you each to grow into that for yourself to understand you have a spirit as well as a soul. It is linked to your higher self. However, it is your spirit's a higher version of you. So all you need to know, know there's two of you. Be consciously aware of the two of you and put golden pyramid protection with mirrors facing inwards and underneath, giving you your healing first. You deserve it. And mirrors on the outside reflecting. Grace Lollicada gave me that one years ago about the pyramid with the mirrors and I run with it. So. A lot of what I share is from talking to others. I often share where it comes from and then I continue on. There's no bitching, there's no rivalries, there's no ego, there's no jealousy, there's no competition in divine, pure, unconditional love. We need to set a preset preface of a new energy that if we can't get our fucking golden shit together, our higher heart golden energy together, what hope has humanity has got? We need to sort our stuff out with each other and unconditionally love each other because we are leading the way, you. And it's not focusing outwards. What is my role? What is my mission? I'm going to do a beautiful recorded Zoom divine healing. It came through recently. I shared, I'm just going to put the fan on. I'm, it's a bit um, humid here now. <clears throat> I 
I did share recently that I was asking people who is being guided. Spirit lets me know when enough souls are ready to do a super master class. There's one coming this Sunday. By the way, the middle of April, between the April and May, double resurrection twin energies will be another super master class. Please email the Oracle Speaks at bigpond.com. It is capped at 10 souls. AU555 Exchange, you will get two weeks of non-stop 24-7 personal upgrade healing and then one or two, two hours with other masters. It is the most powerful, life-changing, super master class divine healing that if you're guided, the way will be provided. If you don't have the exchange, it's not for you at this time. It's very okay. So I didn't realize I'd be sharing that. That'll be the middle of April in between the two live events. Thank you for the reminders about gentle. Um, I love the fact you are truly non competitional competitional being, Eleanor said. No, not at all. Um, I used to be because I was competing with myself because I was trying to find my value and my worth and and, 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 and I, I couldn't find anyone that was like me. And, and, I, and So I was competitive with myself in the past. There's so many things that are part of ascending is being competitive, is bouncing off others, is comparing to others. Okay, there's a lot of things I go, oh, that's normal. That's what you go through when you're growing, growing into yourself. Um, okay, big shift happening, a big wheel is turning right now. So let's take a moment, I can see a huge ancient and they're showing me right now the wheel is from the Mayan wheel. The 2012 Mayan will that well that's what they're showing me right now. Here you have it live. It's see what's documented and what's said is going to happen when it actually comes through is different. What I've shared from the third to the tenth in, in videos and updates for it to actually the other shoe to drop, which is this video now. No competition. Got it, Patricia. It takes time. So we have time. These energies that you are feeling that are Anastasia Blue Beyond God is bringing through are ahead of time. So you can take a breath and rest a little. The competition, the competitiveness, all that, you will find this within yourself. That was for me to break through for humanity. Firstly, I find it difficult, hard and challenging to say that to you. However, if I don't say that and I don't speak my truth, not everybody is to do videos, not everybody is to do. However, what you're doing is the same for you as it is for me personally. I have a loud voice, a big mouth, passionate. I, I, I was born to be on the stage for this purpose, over the top, entertaining, energetic, pulling faces, act like a fucking two-year-old, have me coffee, have a cigarette. Why? Well, because it makes for interesting watching, doesn't it? Like, are you not going to get fucking bored? However, what has come with that has been a lot of ridicule. I'm not professional. I muck around. I carry on silly. All those labels. <coughs> Here it comes. And the poo hooing and the looking down upon by many that are already out there. I'm way past that now. I used to look up to those people. I used to, I just had such a low self esteem. And from 2018, when I went to the Uluru, Cosmic Consciousness Conference, and I was a caretaker of over 100 souls energetically, and I the Arcturians and, and the um, Pleiadians came the night before and I did this huge ceremony and spaceships and everything. All of that was so big. I had no clue how big my energy was. I had no clue. I was so naive and I was taken advantage of. I was energetically used and abused by the organisers. Bless them. I love them. We did it for the dark goddess energies. I was not treated well. I was not. And I was accused. I've got all proof of this. I've got emails of how I was spoke to and, and what was written to me 
You're just there for the fame. You just there, you want to be noticed. At the end of the conference, now, this was keeping that couple together. This was ensuring that that couple was, was going to run. It was not going to run and it was not going to happen. My energy was brought in and they called and thanked everybody else and said, zip. And it's not about that for me. It was the respect of the energy work to keep them together, to get that conference up and running. And they just, they were about me. And fuck that shit, I was out of there. Is this is what spirituality is like? Is this what happens in the fucking spiritual communities? What a shock I got. And I have no qualms in telling you what I just said because it's energy. This is not personal. That's my fucking new mantra. This is not personal. That did happen. They were the facts. I want you to know you need to newly voice and table and speak up to get through whatever you're going through. And I'm just giving you this divine message and I'm tabling it because I'm not going to tell you what to do because don't tell me what to do either. I want to gently encourage you to have the confidence and faith and trust in yourself to start speaking up more. This is a message. Everything's gone very quiet. <coughs> Excuse me, little throat chakra again. Okay. These are zero one energies. They've arrived newly. Feel this coming through right now today or tonight whatever it is for you i'll go with mine today is the start of a new creation energy that has arrived boy oh boy what has it taken it took last night for i'm still interpreting my dream and the meaning and i'll come with you with a further update however this is the old they keep saying preset 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 this is the old energies Oh, how can I put that? It just is what it is for me. It, how, however, this is when I wrote in the last week, you'll be jumbled. People today are saying my energy is all, all, energy is all jumbled. So I just need to go with what it is at the moment. So these are older energies. The breakthrough we had last night here in Australia in the dreams was it was, I, I need to find new words. My old words would be it was an attack of the dark. And however, they didn't make it. It wasn't that. It was... Give me a second and I'll do it here. The energies came to hoodwink us again of what they did in the past. That, that, was, that was our reality then. And this time we saw it clear up and we're like, no. And we took our power back. That's how it is. I'm unable to put that into words right now that would express the feeling and the vision, the emotion of me saying that to you and you seeing this, if you're seeing this, because not everybody sees, some people listen to these without the visual. It was very different and it was a very big empowerment, taking our power back on a spiritual level. However, in the dream, the consciousness came in as well. I was so conscious because I call them real dreams. I know they're not dreams. There's dreams and then there's uh, multi-dimensional and astral work and energies that we operate 24 7 and we need to remember we're not angels we, we have a few human physical body and we're not on guard 24 7 it took me a long time to work with those energies because you can't go against it. you can't make yourself sleep and rest when you're processing there's a way that you need anyway that's a whole other story that one is so let me keep going This is centuries old, I'm told by the divine. We are currently feeling this through all our chakras, or I now call them energy centers as well. I'll say chakras, energy centers. The word chakra is no longer the vibration, it's not the same. There has been written chakras were hijacked and taken over and controlled us. I don't fully resonate 100% to that. I do resonate to something with that. So I say chakras slash energy centers. And again, it's coming back. What do you need to give up? 
What do you need to give up is still here. What do you need to give up? There's still something souls are needing to give up more and more. And it is multifaceted, more like lattice. It's lattice energies. The rainbow lattice sunstone came, and I spoke about this on a recent live. It's like lattice energies. It's not just one thing. It's many little habits. And you've got to get uncomfortable to give up something of the old. And it's not one thing. We're multifaceted. We're multidimensional. I also shared the old 3D matrix is collapsing through us. Please take a moment to acknowledge that. Doesn't that start making spiritually, mindfully conscious sense now that I'm telling you that? Does that, is that starting to make sense now? We've also on the 10th, I shared, we did an evolutionary jump. The 2012 Mayan, we've done an evolutionary jump. <clears throat> the old 3D matrix is collapsing through us. Own your addictive energies. It could be drama, histrionic energy, addicted to watching television, any little thing. We can have lots of little things. And this beautiful energy message that came through from the third was releasing the prison of the mind ego, the negative opening the door with a golden key of our life purpose is not a life sentence as we step out in hope, faith, trust, gratitude, love, and self-compassion. We are birthing twin energies. This is a double rebirth, double resurrection. This is a lead up to the 5th of April and 3rd of May events. I'm being guided to shift these to Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide YouTube channel directly on YouTube. I'll be doing these two lives. Okay, it's for you. I will share more about this. However, you need to realize there is big energy shifting. People are shifting off Facebook. I am not shifting off Facebook. I've been asked to hold the energies. However, I am shifting energies more to direct my YouTube channel. It will still be shared on the Facebook Anastasia Blue Beyond Guide and any below the iceberg email written updates like from today is by an exchange. You need to step up with energy exchange. And those of you that understand and respect, and it's, you know what? It's the same souls that keep making the exchange over and over for the masses. And I thank each one of you. The Oracle Speaks at bigpond.com is the email address au i'm not even going to put the exchange you just contact me it's not about that I, I i'm only able to come and voice when guided okay and it's wonderful when i work in the divine that way because it leaves me anastasia personally out of it it's too big for me my mission and role i can only do it when i link with spirit and soul of the divine and that's the thing the more that you let go let go trying to figure out trying to sort it out and allow the divine in you will resonate and feel your way. I know you know this. Okay. This is double resurrection energies. Many people, as we're winding up now, I'm bringing the rainbow serpent energy in and in the middle of that circle, I might get this vision done by felix truth rebel art he has um done banners and he's done the amazing um blue beyond guide um we built that from scratch he does all the work hey i say we however he does it all however i do bring in the energy we do it together with the divine to build 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 the art that felix brings through a rainbow serpent around the uluru and the golden sun inside Uluru and underneath it's free dom free from domination 
because many people are stuck the negative programming of the old negative matrix and of the mind and you know the ones i'm talking about they are so fixed in that you need to let them go don't try and convince or force others to understand and how is this helping you me telling you that there's a reason i'm saying this you can write in comments or you can just sit with it yourself okay how is that helping you me saying that they are stuck in the old we are disconnecting from our 3d matrix into a much vaster multi-dimensional picture that was the proto matrix for creation we are literally newly creating the new we don't know how to we're going beyond beyond anything we've ever known wow this is a new pioneer energy hello how exciting is this when you get on board and realize that that's exciting the old 3d matrix is collapsing through us new pathways are being created feel the rainbow serpent around you and the energy of the rainbow killing pulsing visualize a giant rainbow serpent around you and the energy is pulsing pulsing isn't it feel good new pathways are being created or a clearing is required is what we shared all our multi-dimensional facets are upgrading all at once this is a rainbow serpent multifaceted divine healing upgrade <coughs> and throat clearing being very real and stepping up for yourself voicing and if you're unable with certain souls and you need to let, let let energies go the way to get out of the head and to break through is to write and each one that that i share with personally i ask them gently and they say they write a little bit i will encourage you that is and, and someone shared with me recently oh that's my freedom well that's when I, I felt peaceful when i felt freedom when i wrote that and i said okay so let's use your logic here to be spiritually mindful consciously of that acknowledgement that when I write, I find freedom, I feel a release. So then wouldn't you want to feel more freedom, release and write more? Hello. If it feels good, do more of it to release yourself from the old 3D matrix program in and of your own mind that is still running. It's okay. Let go. It's a process. Okay. This is higher heart, lower heart fluctuations, negative ego release, double rebirth, soon double resurrection energies, no more anger, starting anew, trust your free flow, let go of the blame. There is no blame with anyone else. There is only power consciously. We need to claim and own within and our twin empowerment uh, that inside this is your sacred marriage mystical union hitos yamas of your own twin flame within yourself you are needing much healing masters we you i are needing much healing of reaching new sophia energies coming in with the christos energies to balance within ourselves firstly let go of looking that person to complete you i know you won't be others do you're looking for you ultimately we entered a whole new chapter with our shadow energies on the first of march as well so take that into account can you feel the rainbow serpent energy healing isn't this magnificent isn't this beautiful so i want to share with you now that part one on the 5th of April, you will be asked for an exchange in respect of the energies coming through. Anyone that is unable to make an exchange, your energy will be held for you as a gift. In the future, these will be altering. A lot is altering after the 21st of June is the message over. 
and over and over. And even I do not know what that is. I'm guided to say these things that after the 21st, who knows? I will just keep letting you know because things change that much. Okay. Love you. Thank you for joining. It's uh, many of you releasing, releasing, releasing. Yes. Thank you. Eyes burning, stinging, revealing, let go. Ancient, ancient, ancient. Eyes burning and stinging is ancient. Burping is the emotions releasing. I know you know that. Thank you for coming here. And I'll see whatever else comes more deeper, further, or below the iceberg with my dream and what came through. I'm looking forward to watching this back because sometimes the only healing I can get is by bringing these through from the divine and watching them back for myself. It may take me two or three times um, because there's a lot to these and you have about 150 available to you. Don't feel pressured at all when I say that. You have many and a lot of what you're feeling now has already been shared because these are ahead of time. Thank you for receiving these firstly. There are no other videos or live ascension updates like these from spirit to soul through the emotion. This is a grand master divine healing of 144 new light paradigm energies directly first from me to you together of the divine we are creating new unity energies together thank you bless thank you for being here